mean, this could work. I know I'm not giving you ring light, babe. It's fine. All the men in my DM, feel free. <laughs> On me. <laughs> Look at the stylings! It makes no sense today. Hi, welcome back to the Estrella Show. Um, fam. What do you do in an intro? Okay, follow me on the social media, you know, let's connect. And um, we're talking about hair. So if you have a high top, remember that your mum loves you, even though we don't. Okay, thank you. Enjoy the video. Hi, and welcome back to the Estrella Show. I'm Estrella. If you're new and you want to be an extra leader, it's not that hard. Actually, not that hard. Follow the Snapchat, the Instagram, the Twitter. Let's connect. This is the second episode of Estrella Spice Waffle. If you haven't watched the first episode, watch it. I'm gonna put it here. I also posted on IGTV, Waffle Walks. I'm gonna put the link in their bio. So on today's episode of Estrella Spice Waffle, we're going to talk about hair. You see these luscious locks, yeah? I know every Estrella Spice Waffle starts with etymology. So I, I don't know how you define hair. Let me, let me search it up. So I, I, I searched it up and apparently it means a thin thread-like strand growing out of the epidermis of a distin. Which makes a lot of sense to not me. All you biologists and them man doing um, biology for free. <laughs> or people doing biology for 9k. So you should know what hair means. I shouldn't. Why I wanted to do this. A lot of people try to stigmatise hair and try to say that it's related to like race and, and so rich inferiority complex not science because hair hair grows out of the epidermis the epidermis is not racist the epidermis doesn't even know its name is epidermis okay but let's just talk about the black community because me i'm black i think to me what does natural mean the natural how it pre-exists without with minimal processing and all them all them things when people try to talk to me about my hair, I don't like it because a lot of people see my hair and try to say, Oh, your hair's relaxed, oh, your hair's texturized. And I'll just be breathing, yeah. Like someone will be like, Oh, yeah, I like your hair, and I'll be like, Thank you. And they'll be like, It's relaxed though, isn't it? Sorry, honey. Who died? I made you the gatekeeper of relaxing hair. I want to know what people need to understand black people aren't the same they're a full run. it will not be the same my hair as it was was never like my hair has always been coily so it's always had the curl but the curl has always been relatively loose my hair is thick the curls aren't tightly packed if that makes sense they've never been tightly packed like from childbirth it's never been like your stereotypical your finger in your finger won't get out sort of thing my hair it's not really nappy. Like, I don't think my hair has been always been the nappy that everybody expects their hair to start off with. I won't lie to you, the slight hair is not the one or the two. Like, this is the thing, my hair is thick but the curls aren't tight. If you were to divide a section, like, and you comb through it, it's a lot to comb through but it's not hard to comb through. So it's just long. Please, I'm not natural 85. I'm naturally N Nadia. I, I don't even know if that's a YouTuber man don't know about all them things so don't try to come for me saying in the comments like oh, i don't know what she's talking to she doesn't know anything about hair obviously you know that you're supposed to dry your hair before you breathe <laughs> my hair is not represented by the natural hair standard that you people have that's all i know but yeah my hair is bloody natural right so i don't want to hear it no more sorry i kind of moved because i i didn't like the angle that was going on with hair yeah you need to understand that First of all, not everybody's hair is the same, okay? There, yes, there may be some characteristics that you share with whatever community you're in. But, so don't try and say that because man's natural hair doesn't look like your natural hair, it does not mean I have a self-absorbed inferiority complex and I feel like my hair has to be straighter so that I feel more white and then I feel more validated in life. Huh? One person being a four, whatever a four is, doesn't make them any better or any worse than somebody who's a 4c hair is preference you can do whatever the hell you want with your hair your hair comes out of your head maybe you live a hectic lifestyle and maybe you're a swimmer maybe you prefer your hair to be relaxed and straight so that you can just pack the thing put on the swimming cap and go a swimmer mile that's good for you and you can style it nice well done 
does not mean that she hates herself why is she relaxing her hair i don't even first of all i don't even know why it's called relaxing hair because it's trying to say that when the, when their hair was not relaxed the thing was stressed i don't like that stigma the word relaxed makes it seem as though having your hair as it naturally was was stress and therefore it tra it sort of reinforces the idea that people who relax their hair are looking for an easy way out and an easy way out being looking more eurocentric whatever that means and because their hair is straighter they don't experience the same level of stress as the people who wear natural hair and therefore cannot claim the black card because they don't go through the same struggles as you who wears the nappy hair that's something that dr umar would say so some people actually wake up in the morning i want their hair straight they don't wake up in the morning and say hmm i feel like being white today don't try and discourage them and make them feel like a traitor because ultimately hair is preference do what you want with your hair thanks when it comes to the tl we've had the um high top versus braids scandal i have some uh friends in this life that have been key to this um movements against braids i've had some friends in this life who have been key to the movement against high tops i try not to get involved <laughs> braids and crochet are known to be a protective style and in that sense it means that it's known to protect your hair and allow the thing to grow if you want to do braids do the braids if you want to do pick and drop in 2020 live your life babe if you want to do crochet jamaican bounce come like rag doll live your life babe but 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 don't feel like you have to suddenly put your life on pause and go buy go buy a bundle from ali grace and put a wig on your head and you'll be looking like pyramid upon your forehead because the tl said that braids are not in anymore grow up as i said in point two hair is about preference all right babe so if you want to do braids do braids it's fine uh men 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 i know right now everybody and their mom kind of wants a dark skin king over six foot wave we want skinny men that we can break but we want skinny men with the muscles that can break us back don't be deceived the waves thing waves are not for everybody women why do you want a man with waves when everybody wants a man with waves think about the economics ladies like there's actually some kings out here with high tops that actually suit them like i like it sometimes <laughs> I I the braid this thing or the twist this thing it suits them like men do what you want with your hair like everybody has their preferences or oh, you can't wear braids or you can't have high tops whatever 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 if you do what you prefer with your hair and you do so with confidence a man slash woman oh, they cannot resist you when you're just stepping in the street looking pain for free in your hairstyle and you're feeling yourself and you know that you're doing your thing we like it we don't care if it's a high top we don't care if it's braids we don't care if it's waves like i think it's petty to block people because they have high tops <laughs> why would you do that wigs is also a craft it's a skill there's plenty of money in hair you need to understand that because somebody stops doing the braids and starts going to wig life it doesn't mean that suddenly they want to be a current doesn't mean that they hate their heritage and they want the long 613 38 inches across their back because that's what chloe kardashian looks like because obviously chloe kardashian does not look like that when people start doing wigs it's just a part of their evolution people look irresistible in wigs when you see me with a wig on this channel that just means that i've reached the boss level because personally i don't think wigs look great on me i don't think it's for my head if i can do it i'll be a little off then that's different ladies 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 don't feel like because the to is saying that braids are not in that you now have to go and invest 400 pounds in two two wig here and there now you wear it and you're looking like one run down barbie you know when you play with the barbie's hair so much yeah that the thing the, the the literal texture of the hair is done the people who are starting uni this year you're thinking rah you need to save money sfe is not even gonna stretch for a oh, how am i gonna do hair 
like i get if you want to invest your wigs now cool do your thing don't be wearing braids from now until october you get to you get to uni yeah you see everybody and their mum with the br brown ombre wig the black closure and the 613 frontal now you feel like you have to buy a wig and now you're embarrassing yourself at uni why why when you know that you can do braids perfectly well on your own head now you're buying wigs because everybody's buying wigs it's not by force you know some people some people actually don't have hair so it's actually a blessing it is a blessing given to you by god that you are able to have hair like this hair that come down to the shoulder and you can do what you want with it happily and be able to pay for it because some people actually can't afford half the things that you're crying about this is just supposed to be a note it's not really like oh i'm shouting at you when it comes to hair hair is ultimately about preference not everybody's hair is the same not everybody's financial situation is the same and not everybody's skill is the same some people have all the money in the world okay but they prefer to have braids and they know how to do braids well and they will continue to do it it does not mean that when you get to a certain level of success you now have to start wearing wigs because everybody around you is wearing wigs no baby do what you want with your hair you can do wigs once or twice like you can choose you can actually wake up one morning because you have the money you can wake up one morning buy a wig wear a wig and then do braids the next week nobody's gonna care don't ever feel like because you've got, you've gotten to a certain stage in life you now start wearing wigs somebody tells you that you're trying to conform to eurocentric beauty standards and now you have to die huh just stop just bore them now you are all bored you said you were gonna learn a language this quarantine and you're still here looking at me crying about somebody who's homophobic let them be homophobic why are you crying you may have noticed that i've purposely oh you may have noticed that i've purposely left out um the trans the trans race this thing when um or when non-black people wear dreadlocks or wear braids and this or do their edges or do this this and do that that okay i'm being real me personally i'm split on this i'm split on it so i don't feel like i'm at a place where i can tell you guys what i believe and think on the issue but if you have used the rhetoric that i've used in this video you would know that everybody's natural hair is different you will know that hair is about preference and you know everything is not about race okay so and think that yes there are some people who do wear braids and do wear dreadlocks and do do corners and try say that it's box braids and try and appropriate the culture and try and say that they started it yes those people exist but also there are also people who want to appreciate other cultures want to try something new and are, and are willing and always do acknowledge the roots of the hairstyle don't look at a white person on the street and they're wearing dreadlocks and suddenly think that they're racist but don't think that because they're wearing dreadlocks they're trying to take our hairstyles and they want to put us down and they want us to die a wise woman once told me a word is enough for the wise and my word is very very confusing but it is also over i hope you guys enjoyed this video a little bit um i did kind of change up the scenes because i didn't really want to get up and go into the car i would actually greatly appreciate comments on this video like for real for real i'm not going to tell you to, to comment for, for comment's sake this time i actually want you to comment because I feel like I need to talk this out with somebody. Comment on this video. Uh, what you think about natural hair? You think hair is explicit to race? <laughs> Believe in your source, baby. Because once you're confident in yourself, nobody gives a damn about whether you're trying to succumb to Eurocentric beauty standards if you are. <laughs> and if you are, grow up. Like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Don't stress, stay blessed. You're too anointed to be disappointed. Take over. I forgot to do it for the last two videos. Estella out. When I'm 40, or like middle age crisis, after I've had all my children, yeah, I'm shaving my head and I'm getting waves. A lot of people ask me for my type don't waste my time because i don't care what you look like i just care about what's in the account <laughs>
the Barclays, the Santander. So people ask me for my type, mm, don't waste my time. Barclays and that Santander. I just want to see what's there in the account. Better be some zeros if you want to be my hero. How big is your bloody nose? I don't care about your clothes. I just want to see the money and I want it sweet like honey, baby girl. But I'm not a rapper. We out. If you've got waves, Snapchat me. If you've got high top, don't Snapchat me. Why? Because I'm already married. Before the council culture episode, here's a challenge. Comment down below, uh, unproblematic artist who is like great. I mean, somebody who has not had any sort of scandal within their personal life or musical career and also produces great music that has an impact on their genre or on the industry as a whole. Okay? Thank you. Don't try and say Beyonce because this Destiny's Child and her father and then the distant and then Becky with the good hair and then Solange like we we know. Don't try and say Rihanna because Chris Brown exists. <laughs>